okay guys hi and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time joining me thanks for clicking on that video so today we are going to be doing a review slash demonstration of the new pep store foundation like yes pep store actually has foundations it's hot and it's light and making me extra hot um I would have never have thought that Pepsi would have come up with a foundation, but yes, they actually have a foundation like this. I was shook. I was shook. And you will not believe how much this foundation costs. I'm going to put a clip that I did because I did do a bit of a, a vlog. Like when I went, I went into the store and I recorded that. Going into the store and going to buy, I, I did like some close-ups of the products that they have. So I will also insert a small snip of that just before we begin the tutorial. So this is how much it cost. Like, if the original price was, um, let me get it out. The original price was $24.99, which is 25 Rand, basically round it off. And it was marked down to 20 Rand because yes, who wants to buy a foundation at Pep? I mean... It's cheap it's really cheap like extremely extremely cheap it is literally so cheap um okay so I got this foundation I thought I might as well just get um I got a press powder as well and I also have got the um the eyeshadow so these are items I bought and these were both um $13.99 which is 14 grand round off which is under one dollar so these eyeshadows are literally like Nothing. Gosh, this is the one that I wanted to get. I'm not there, my color. They only have two shades. I thought I had enough. How am I gonna get this other shade? Um, I think we're gonna have to take these out. These are the ones. <laughs> See, they also have this one. I don't know what this is. That is 20 Rand. They also have lipstick, but I don't think I want to get the lipstick. They have a lip gloss, which is how much? There we go. And how much is this, Josh? They're all 13 Rand. But I think I'm going to get the eyeshadow and this powder. The other one is too dark. There we go. I also have pencils as well. Oh my word. What's this? Um, mascara. I have mascara. This is liquid eyeliner, but anyway, I'll get that just there. We go, so I'm gonna get this. This and we also have Q Tex, which now the lip glosses look really nice. Now, they don't. I wonder how is it? It's a lip gloss. I mean, I'm not a fan of lip gloss. You look awesome. Okay, let's go and pay for this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the foundation. Um, the foundation that I have, whoop, this one I know is a bit dark. Um, I do have a lighter foundation. I just need to find out where that I put this foundation. Okay, so I do have a lighter foundation. This one, they, they only, sorry, it only comes in like two shades. So this is... The darkest one that I could find and as you can see it is extremely dark um, this is in the shade spice um, there were literally only two shades when I went into the store um, okay um, okay 
So I thought, you know, let me just do the demonstration. Pray for me. Um, it has a smell that is not very um, nice. It kind of smells like um, like relaxer with a little bit of a fragrance. I don't know, but it smells like relaxer. Oh my gosh. It's, um, the coverage is medium, but I'm like literally like pressing it onto my skin. Um, it looks red. Spicy, well, I suppose it's spicy. It has like a reddish pinkish undertone. Um, that, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna work with it. Wowza. This thing is literally the wrong shade, but they only come in two shades and I really, really wanted to do the video. So, um, yeah. So let me just blend this in. I just look for my blender. Okay, so I'm just taking my sponge and I'm blending this in. Sticking on camera, but it looks really dark. Um, I would say the coverage is a medium and um, a bit sheer as well. No, it's definitely a medium sheer kind of um, foundation. So I'm just going to go again and I'm just going to add another layer after I've blended it because um, I need more coverage. And by the way, look at the amount of product in this. This is like a lot of product, a lot. Let's see if it's gonna cover that mark down there for the now that I put the second layer on um, it's still medium as you can see I, I have some marks from my pimples that I gotten so it's still a medium coverage even after I've put on a, another layer um, oh. am I feeling itchy is it just in my imagination <laughs> I think I'm feeling itchy. I think I'm feeling itchy. I think it's in my mind though. Wow. Does it look that obvious on camera? Okay. 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 So now I'm going to go in with a lighter shade. This is the second lighter shade that they have. Um, basically this shade, if I can tell you, it's in the shade Toffee but it does not look like toffee at all for instance um this powder is in the shade toffee um it is a lot warmer this is in the shade toffee and it is not warm at all and also it's kind of as though when they were manufacturing um you won't be able to see from here i'll zoom in a bit later on um i'll insert a clip when they were manufacturing this it almost looks as though they never blend it or mix it in proper because there's still like red stripes or pieces of dye or I don't know what you would call it um, what they mix to, to get the colors right but you can see that it was not blended in correctly you can still see bits and bits of red pieces okay now I'm going to go in with the lighter shade of the foundation um, this one if I use this alone it will be light um, but because this foundation is really dark that I have on, I it's not looking as light as it would. But it's a toffee, but it's actually very light for me. Like for instance, like look, I don't know if you guys can see this, how much lighter it is on my hand compared to what it looks like on my face now. So. Hmm, So now I'm going to go in with the uh, setting powder, um, I'm going to use the setting powder all over my face and then I'm kind of going to try and look for a corrector, since this is a like cheap video. Okay, so I'm going to use the same pad that they have um, and I'm just going to put it all over my face. 
again it's in the shade toffee and I'm gonna set um the well um the powder is definitely much better than the foundation um it is mattifying it does its thing it's not the best of powders but it does what the pressed powder needs to do okay i'm not crazy about it it does smooth the skin quite a bit um as you can see i have a lot of texture on my face and um it does especially from far it, it does kind of have a like a little bit of a blurring effect that you want from a powder in with a another highlighter um it's also a very affordable one but since it's, and just just to brighten up um the areas where i need some brightening like okay so um these foundations for me are not worth it at all like i don't think i will ever use these foundations again i won't even give them away they are simply going to go into the burn i i just they are horrible they are horrible they are completely horrible um the pressed powder i'm not so mad at um i would give it a six out of ten i would literally give these a two out of ten like i would generally give these a two out of ten one point was for the package and the one was for the foundation because it did give me a bit of a coverage it did blend um but it there's hardly any coverage in it after three or four layers of coverage i still have a medium to sheer coverage on my face like come on and i just don't think that they should be selling these for in i mean yes we know pep store is a an affordable store that's how they market their store it's affordable they're all about affordability and i can understand them wanting to come out with a product that is so cheap i mean it's literally under two dollars twenty rand number one um if you want to come out with foundation get the shade right do you like like get the shade right number two mix the foundation properly you can clearly see that the foundation was not mixed properly when they were manufacturing it because you can still see like dyes in it get a bit of formula just get a bit of formula number three you cannot come out with just two shades this is south africa this is africa we have so many different shades like we go from light to like a really really the darkest of dark in of the spectrum so you really cannot just come up with two shades i mean who are you marketing these foundations to and what are you saying about the people who are going to wear these really horrible um foundations number one they smell like relaxer number two they don't have much coverage and they are just not a very good foundation they feel uncomfortable on my skin my skin literally feels uncomfortable and that smell is still there the pressed powders i am not mad at um it's so disappointing because image is such a beautiful name for a um a cosmetic brand for a makeup brand because it's all about the image these days i wish that they would get better formulas on their products um the packaging is not too bad but the formula is horrible it's 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 bad it's that bad so now um i'm not mad at the press powder it's okay um they could do better um what i don't like about it um which i find a lot with um a lot of cheap um powders is that they are very textured um yes it's smooth and yes it did make my foundation look better because it is a better product but they are kind of um chalky i don't know and when you press into it you kind of get like stone like textures in into the pressed powder um i will do a close-up so that you guys can see um i'm sure you go manual so even if i come up close it's, it's gonna be blur so um yeah um it's it's a six or five out of ten for me for this one so i'm gonna go off camera now and i am gonna apply the eyeshadow and i'm gonna let you guys know what I think about their eyeshadows and if they are worth 14 rand which is under a dollar literally okay. 
Okay, um, so this is me now with a full face of makeup. Um, what I think about these is that these quads are not so bad for 14 Rand for just under a dollar. I don't think they are bad. I will give these a 5 out of 10. I'll give them a five. Um, they do have pigmentation. I will do swatches um, after this. And um, I also use this palette because these quads don't have any matte shades. So I went in with these mattes. I went in with all the mattes and as well as with the shimmer shade as well. And I also use these shimmer shades on my eyelid as well. And I used um, these pinkish ones to kind of highlight the in between of those bronzish, golden shades, this dark shade and that bronze shade. And I did use a red from another palette just to warm up the warm shades because I find that in this palette the shades are too warm and they were looking quite muddy on my eyelid and I didn't like it. So I just toned it down with a bit of red from one of my other palettes. Um, this one I would give a 6, maybe a, no I'll give it a 7 and I would give it a 7 mostly for the um, shimmer shade because this shimmer shade is as pigmented as hell. Um, I have uh, another palette that's quite expensive and this shimmer shade, it is so, so, so pigmented and so brushy. Like I will buy 10 of these just to use that shade. That is how much I love that shade. Um, I also use this golden shade in the in my inner corners as well as to highlight. Um, I don't really like it as a highlighter because it is very shimmery. Um, I don't like like highlights that are very shimmery. Um, but yeah, so these are not so bad. The foundations I hated. Like Pep, just 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 do something, please. Just um, do something for us. Can you guys see my highlights? Okay. So that is the end for me, guys. I hope that you guys have loved this video. If you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and that's it. I'm going to insert the rest of the vlog after this. I didn't want to bore you with, with an entire vlog in the beginning. So we're just going to roll the rest of the vlog now after this. Until next time, let's roll to the vlog. Hi guys and welcome to the vlog. Just put on your seatbelt. Is the metro police? <laughs> the police is your seatbelt on, Joshua. So anyway, we just got back from um, the hip store. I just went to go and get um, the foundation that I wanted to do for one of my videos, which I'm about to record right now as we speak. What happened? Um, I know what's going on here. So they're having a, a walk. It looks like they haven't got oh. school Friday. Oh, it's the Catholic people. Uh, yeah. Um, so anyway. Um